They're lovely, aren't they? Can you believe it's been 17 years since the film Bend It Like Beckham was on the big screen? Well, the director, Gorinda Chadha, says her new film is a sequel to the 2002 hit and she hopes it's going to put Luton on the map. Blinded by the Light is about the adolescent struggles of a British Pakistani teenager and how he finds an unlikely source of inspiration. Wendy Hurrell has more. Javid is a British Pakistani Muslim growing up amidst the prejudice of people in his hometown, Luton. Javid doesn't drink. He's a Muslim. It's against their religion, Dad. Well, have a little bit, see how you go. It's the 80s. Racial and economic turmoil are rife. Guard these with your life, yeah? But then his friend introduces him to the music of Bruce Springsteen, and it's through those lyrics he finds his voice. Because the night belongs to us. It's a true story, written from the memoirs of journalist and broadcaster Safras Manzoor. He filmed, well, a lot of it in, in Luton. It was a surreal thing that as a result of the book and then the film, I, I managed to persuade an entire feature film crew to come into my hometown. I think they were just a bit gobsmacked that this was something which was going to ultimately be a feel-good movie and, you know, not a film where um, anyone blows anything up. The director sees it as something of a sequel to her 2002 film, Bend It Like Beckham. Maybe we can do for Luton what Richard Curtis did for Notting Hill, you know. <laughs> um, but who knows, you know, do you know there are people who go to Heston and Hounslow to look at all the sites where Bend It Like Beckham was shot? And I've in fact been there myself, back to the house in Heston. I took a young artist there and this little boy came up to me and he said, do you know this is where they shot Bend It Like Beckham? I said, really? He said, yeah, people come here all the time. You can take pictures. I went, oh, thanks, mate. It's out on August the 9th, and there's one small thing she wants this film to do. This is my secret, not so secret, really, endeavour to convert the whole world to love the music of Bruce Springsteen. No small task, but I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> Wendy Hurrell.